Hello you guys, I wanted to make this video thanking everybody for all the comments and all the kind messages I've received about Kiko. I thought it was only fair for me to show you guys how he's doing. You can see there he's doing fine. Um, he's out of the woods when it comes to whether he was going to make it or not. He's learning how to adapt to his short tongue and he's doing really good. Um, for those of you that didn't read the description section on Friday's video, what happened is that a squirrel bit off. Now that I see the complete tongue, it's about half of the tongue. He's, he got half of his tongue bitten off. So what I'm going to do by a squirrel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a peanut sideways to see. He knows I have this peanut here. To see if uh, you guys can see how short his tongue is before his tongue would come out longer than his beak. He would taste everything like that, and now it doesn't come out that far. So I'm going to give him the peanut sideways to hopefully uh, you guys could see how short his tongue is. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Can you see how short his tongue is now? And before it would come out, there you can see um, it's really short now. And before it would come out way farther than his beak. And you can see there that it's he's adapting to it. He's eating normally. Actually, he gained weight. He's He's been eating a lot lately. But you can see that he's doing great there. And thanks, you guys, for all the comments and all the kind messages. He's going to make it. He's really strong. And when I brought him home a couple of days afterwards, he began developing a scab, a really thick scab. That's why I thought it was about one-third of his tongue missing. But now that the scab fell off, I see that it's about half of his tongue. As you guys could see there. Let me see if I give him give him the other half. Oh, he still has a peanut in his little mouth. But he's doing great. He's really spoiled. He doesn't want to be in his cage anymore. I'm not going to take him outside anymore. I don't know. It's kind of sad. Now the thing for me is, what should we do with the squirrel? I know it's not the squirrel's fault. She wanted the yummy food he has in his little cage. So it's not the squirrel's fault, but... I don't know. What do you guys think I should do about the squirrel? Should I, I know there's, you could call animal control and they'll come get her or they give you a little cage and you trap it and then you take it. I don't know if they let them go free. I suppose I have to investigate that, but Kiko's doing fine. You can see him there eating. He's got a short little tongue now, but he's doing fine. So this video isn't just about Kiko. I'm going to talk to you guys about my favorite base coat and top coat. And the reason I want to answer this question is because I receive a lot of questions about what top coat do I use, what base coat do I use. So I'm going to start with my base coat. My favorite base coat is um, the Neutronel Green Tea. The reason I love this one so much, let me place it there. The reason I love this one so, so much is because it protects my nails from staining and because it strengthens my nails. It's a, it's a nail strengthener, so I really love this one. It took me a while to find it because my favorite one was discontinued. I think I've told you guys that before. So it took me a while to find the perfect one, and I went through a lot of them. I would use them once, and nope, that one doesn't work. But this one, I'm, I've been using it, I think, since... It's going to be in two more months, about a year, that I've been using it. So I'm absolutely in love with it, and I don't plan to stop using it. I hope they don't discontinue it. Now for my top coat. What I look for in a top coat is something that will seal in my design nicely. I love using glitter. You guys already know that, and with... Some top coats, glitter absorbs top coat and it takes about three times to go over your glittered areas till it really shines. With this one that I'm about to show you, it all it takes is once. It works really well and I think Kiko wants to bite it. Let me see if you guys can see his short little tongue there. There you could see that it's cut. Oh my goodness, Kiko. Anyways, this top coat is Sesh Feet. I absolutely love this top coat. Apart from the fact that it seals in nicely a design, it also has a really thick consistency. Let me see if I could show you there. Okay, can you see how thick that is? It's just a thick consistency. Oh my goodness, Kiko. <laughs> he wants to show you guys his short tongue. Can you see how short that is now? Anyways, it has a thick consistency and I like that because I feel as if, it, I know it protects my nails and it just leaves a nice shine over your nails. Um, another question that I get asked a lot is what can you do to prevent nail staining? I'm going to tell you what helps me. What helps me is whenever I know I'm going to be using a dark nail polish, I limit the days I use the darker nail polish to about five days. After that, I remove it. 
and for example if you're going to be using a red nail polish a dark blue even a yellow a red these tend to yellow they stain your nails so just limit the days you use these nail polish colors to about five days i know it sounds like a little bit but it does help to limit the days another thing i noticed is the polish remover you use come here kiko the polish remover you use i also noticed helps depending on which one you use. I'm going to show you guys the one that I've been using. This is the second time I purchased this one. You can see it's almost gone. And this particular one's by Qtex. It's the purple one. And I know I, it took about two to three times for me to notice after using it that it was helping the my, my nails not look so yellow. So it's the Qtex one. It's the purple one. You'll find it in your local drugstore. So I'm really loving this one a lot. I use it once a week when I remove my manicure. But um, that was it, you guys. I hope that apart from getting an update on how Kiko's doing, I hope that the base coat and top coat information also helped you keep in mind that you gotta go out there and find what works best for you. You know, sometimes somebody will give you a tip and tell you, try this, it's gonna help you. It's really great and you try it and it's not that great. Or sometimes you give somebody a tip and it doesn't work that great for them. So the best tip I can give you is go out there and find what works best for you. But I do hope that the tips I gave you helped. Let me see you say bye, Kiko. Bye. No, he's really quiet. One thing that I get asked a lot when, when I let people know that his tongue got bitten off, um, is, is he going to be able to talk? You know, before he got his tongue bitten, he was already saying, Kiko, Kiko. He was saying it really clearly, Kiko, Kiko. And ever since he got, we brought him back, he hasn't said anything anymore. So I'm hoping eventually he'll start saying his name again, a little by little talking. <laughs> Say bye. Say bye, Kiko. Bye bye. So that was it, you guys. Thank you so much for all your comments and all your messages. I really, I'm really grateful for your interest in Kiko. He's doing great. So take care, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Kiko. Bye. <laughs>